Bonjour tout le monde and welcome to Musings of a Fox. If this is your first time here, hi! My name is Gabrielle, welcome to my channel. For this video, I decided to combine two things. This amazing, spectacular palette that has brought you this look on my eyes, and also my favorites of 2017. What products I reach for time and time again, and instead of just telling you guys what my favorites are, I use them. And that's what made this gothic pixie face you see before you. So if you want to see how this all came about, just stay tuned. So my primer of the year for 2017 is the Optical Illusion Primer from Urban Decay. I'm obsessed, I'm in love, it's just like I can use this primer and then just put on face powder over it and I f like and I, that feels like enough coverage for me some days. It really just blurs what I need it to blur and just evens me out out and I just tipped this like redness I have going on today um, but other than that <laughs> it really is just the primer I find myself reaching for and I have pretty much all the Urban Decay primers I have Smashbox primers and the Optical Illusion this is just my this is my darling for 2017. So my 2017 winner for primer is still the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. I have to say this isn't my palette for all of 2017, but this is one of my top palettes. I also feel like it's been getting a lot of crap from the internet and so I'm here to avenge it and that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. You can see that I have loved this palette so far. Uh, so we're gonna play with this beauty here, that one up there, probably that one, maybe over here. It's a beautiful palette. It's nothing like Subculture. I know I talked about how terrible Subculture was in my auntie haul um, back earlier, I think like in the summer, and it was awful. <laughs> it was. But this palette is not that palette, and I just want to show you guys how awesome it is. Welcome to my bags. Can you tell how much sleep I've been getting during the holidays? It's not a lie. <laughs> I'm going to start off with Laura from this palette and a clean brush to blend it out. I think the only critique I can give for this palette is that it doesn't have a good brow bone color. It's not the early ops anymore. We're not putting this on our brow bone. Maybe there's someone whose shade that is, um, but it's not very universal. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> it doesn't have a universal brow bone or even like two options of brow bone shades. So that's kind of crap and I don't know if I have anything on me, but so that's a critique I have. So these beautiful glittery shades all have that property, like the Super Shock shadows from ColourPop, they are just almost squishy and soft and just oh, fantastic. <laughs> They're just, I just really, really love them. Taking my, I guess you could say, favorite shader brush of 2017, the Smith 256, I'm going to go right into Dimension. It's like I'm not even drawing hard. It's just like, it's like glitter shadow without all the work of glitter and glue. Though you can definitely use um, a glitter base for these if you'd like, but I haven't had a major fallout issue. Ugh, this purple is just, I just love it so much. I really, I just love, I feel like lavender is the way to go when you have blue eyes. It's like the way to almost do a blue eyeshadow without getting too matchy matchy or losing the potency. I feel lavender is just really beautiful on blue eyes. I have found that a fluffy flat shader works a lot better than a compact flat shader. Um, it just gives the pigments more room to kind of flake up and then get pressed back down. And it's just really beautiful. To smoke out the outer corner, we're going to go into Osiris. And oh, I just love this color. I love the, I really love these two together. But Osiris is just a gorgeous color. It's a navy with a lavender shift, but also a little bit of red. So it's just really, really beautiful. Dimension and Osiris just blend so seamlessly together. Back in with the same brush I used to blend out the crease. And of course I want to keep going with the smoke, so in with obsidian and a liner brush. 
to just build up a little bit of black from the lash line. I'm just looking to deepen that outer corner. My liner of the year is a tie with my Kat Von D liner that I absolutely love and the Perversion liner from Urban Decay. They're an absolute tie. I love them both equally. This is just the one I can find at the moment. Alright, I'm gonna go do the rest of my face, clean up under the eyes, and go to foundation. So I've been thinking it over and I have had a lot of awesome new foundations in my life this year. I have had the Kat Von D um, tattoo foundation, whatever. I've had Kat Von D's intense foundation. I've had different colors of all nighter. Um, I have had Smashbox. I, I can't even think of all the foundations I've tried this year. But my favorite, favorite, favorite has been this Smashbox. I can't... <laughs> I love it so much, the writing's all gone. Um, the Smashbox Studio Skin Double Stick in um, foundation and contour. It's actually my first like cream contour and now I'm obsessed with cream contours. Um, but this is the foundation in 1.2 and I love it. It's my favorite. I... Yeah, it's always in my bag. <laughs> um, there are days I want fuller coverage, there are days I want less, and no matter what, this is the foundation that never, ever gives me a bad day. It's just perfect. I love it, so let's use it. <laughs> Mostly I just draw stripes on my face. I've been obsessed with this since I got it on half off sale at Ulta. It's the IT Cosmetics Foundation Brush. Again, things I love so much that they just come off. I think I will have the proper name down below. Um, I also love their brush that comes in this set. It's just not clean right now. So we're gonna go with this one and fix my tiger face. <laughs> Oof. Oh my god. My, so my cat is like a tabby cat. But like some of his hairs, I swear, are translucent were. Like I can feel them on my face, but I can't find them. I just have to kind of like poke and peel around my face. So for um, highlighting, and I'm not a big contour contour, but I like to give some like darker color where like a bronzer would be. And that of course is going to go to the Fenty Matchsticks. Um, I got one of those customizable trios back when these launched. And so I have a matchstick in mocha and a matchstick in bamboo. And then the highlight I just blend out with my same foundation brush. I'm gonna take my Duo Fiber Contour Brush from Real Techniques. Well, the highlight helps a lot. I am gonna go in with an actual concealer, and that is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I am wearing Ginger. And just a little bit under the eye, where I have my balloonness <laughs> that is a bit exacerbated by today's eyeshadow choice. And to blend that out, I of course have my Dome Shadow Brush from Real Techniques. We're going to let my face melt in from it and go back and finish up the eyes. For tightening, I'm going to go in, of course, with Urban Decay's Perversion Liner. It is my favorite black eyeliner. I have tried many others, and it's the one I always go back to. Pretty much that is like, sums up my 2017. I really feel like I tried a lot of different brands in like, you know, and found my staples. I, I almost, I would almost say this is my holy grail list, um, but you know, everyone's coming out with new things all the time, um, but I will mark things down below in the comment, in the comments, <laughs> I will mark things down in the description box and let you know which ones are actually like, I've been using this for a decade, obviously not perversion because it hasn't been out that long, but before that I was using zero, so Urban Decay liners are always number one with me. In the lower waterline, I'm going to take Urban Decay's eyeliner in Empire, which is a really cool matte navy. Ooh, maybe it's not a matte navy. Maybe it's like a, a metallic. It's a metallic navy, but it's not like a sparkly navy. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm gonna keep going with Urban Decay eyeliners because I have a bunch and go and do the bottom lash line with Vice Halfway. And then I found a new pretty that I'd never played with before, and that is Urban Decay's eyeliner in Cuff. 
I hope this isn't discontinued because this is like the coolest silver eyeliner I have seen in quite some time. And I think for a little extra added bit of drama, because we don't have enough drama going on here, I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and Lucid, which is a beautiful white um, gold duochrome. And now after all that, let's just throw on a mascara. <laughs> So right now I'm having a lot of fun with Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. So while we're already doing major on the rest of my face, let's just go in with that one. So the Sweet Peach Glow Palette is absolutely my favorite highlighter of the year, blush of the year. Um, but I don't want to use this blush because I've used it several times in other videos and I have a like full-on highlighter-esque um, thing I'm going to use instead, but I am going to go in with the bronzer and the blush. So the bronzer first to warm up these cheeks because just because it's December does not mean we don't want to look like we found the slight bit of sun in the Bay Area that there is. Then in with my trusty, I think this is like the multitask brush from Real Techniques and that delicious peach blush. All right, again, I'm obsessed with this highlighter, just to show you guys how beautiful it is if I haven't already. I know I've used it in tutorials. It is gorgeous. It is just, it can be built up to be super blingy, or it can just be like just a beautiful glow, and it, it lasts. It lasted my entire work day today. Um, no touch-ups whatsoever. It's just, it's beautiful. But I have something more fun to play with. And when you have something more fun, you play with the thing that's more fun. If you can find where you put it on your messy desk. And that's the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And this is in Halo, the beautiful lavender. With the lavender on the eyes, I figured I'm gonna go lavender on the cheeks because I can, because it's my video and I want to. So these drops are absolutely my favorite highlighting toy of the year. I love it so much. I tap that baby in. I may have lost some of you now that I've done this, but that's okay. Hopefully you stayed for the eyes and you had a good time. The rest of you are here who just want to watch me turn into an alien. Hang out. It's gonna be fun. For brows, it has been a toss-up between the Brow Beater from Urban Decay and Benefits um, they're gimme, I think they have a gimme brow pencil and a gimme brow gel. So, to call it even, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Brow Beta Pencil and the gimme brow gel. So, yeah. I apologize for the awkwardness. I'm in a growing out phase of my brows and it's awkward. And let's just accept that it's awkward and we're gonna move on from there. This brow is just evil. Like, it doesn't want to grow, I just need it to grow. Just like right up here, and it just, it doesn't want to. It doesn't like me, I don't know what I did to it. So that is Brow Beater in Dark, and this is Gimme Brow in 3. So we're going to powder this whole thing down with Urban Decay's D-Slick Powder. We're gonna see if this lip, I don't think this lip is as neutral as it is in my head, but it is my favorite new lip, and that is Urban Decay's lip liner in Hex used all over the lip. At first, I need a chapstick. All right, guys, thank you for joining me for this favorites of 2017 slash makeup tutorial with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I decided to just have some fun and do the kind of makeup I do when I go out with my hubby or with friends versus usually with my tutorials. Like, I actually kind of give you guys what I wear in a normal day. I know they might be some bright looks for a lot of people, but they're actually pretty casual looks for me. This is usually the craziness I get up to and more. So if you like this kind of look, give me a thumbs up and I will show you guys my more vibrant side more often. I am so thankful, you know, looking back at 2017, my New Year's resolution in 2016 was to actually start this channel and make it go and thanks to you guys it is and I am so proud of the content I have done this year and I am so proud of the people I have attracted to this channel. You guys are awesome. I have the best commenters, the sweetest people 
people on Instagram. I'm also on Facebook, you can find me there. And yes, thank you, you, <laughs> you. If you have hit that subscribe button, thank you. And if you're watching it and this is your first time here, you know, thank you for sticking around to the end. I really appreciate it. I just love you guys so much. This is why I do videos for you guys. And yeah. All right, have a happy and healthy and safe New Year's Eve, guys, and I will see you in 2018. Bye.